Hi everybody, welcome to Virtual Sensory Story Town with Stephanie and Ophelia. We're so glad that you're here with us um, in the fort. In our fort. Yes. Today we are going to be talking about auditory sense. Auditory sense and auditory input is the ability to interpret information through the ear that's heard. So you might um, have heard this called the sense of sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you receive information about volume, pitch, and rhythm, and it's important for the refinement of sounds into meaningful um, syllables and words. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start out, as we always do, by welcoming you. So let's sing our welcome song. Clap everybody and say hello, clap everybody and say hello, clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Ready to stop? Stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, stomp everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, wiggle everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Get ready for a story. Okay, so our first book that we are going to read today is called Walking Through the Jungle. Mm. And it's a big book. Yes, it's by Julie Lacombe. See, it's one of our big books here at the library. And we have to use several senses in this book, but I like it because we do get to use, practice our auditory input. Let's see if we can get this set up here in our head. <clears throat> Whitney will let us know if it's all in the frame here. Are we doing all right, Miss Whitney? All right. Walking through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? What makes that sound in know. the jungle? Oh, gosh. Can you use your prediction skills? What do you think? I'm a little nervous. Did you guess right? Did you guess the snake? Is he following me? Oh, I hope not. Ooh. Let's see what's next. Creeping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Arrgh. Oh gosh. That what could be a lot of things in the jungle. It could be. What do you think? Make your guesses. <gasps> Over there! A tiger! Is that what you guessed? Good job. Is he following me? Oh, beautiful tiger, isn't he? I hope he's not following me, though. Mm -hmm. Don't want that. Stomping through the jungle. What do you see? Do you hear a noise? What could it be? What makes a noise like that? Probably better than that. <laughs> <laughs> it is an elephant. My elephant is not so great. Over there, good. an elephant. Is he following me? Uh -huh. He looks very friendly. You have a lot of animals following you. Leaping through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? What is it? Roar! Oh no, I know what that is. <gasps> Over there, a lion. Isn't he beautiful? Mm -hmm. Is he following me? Oh, I hope not. Next, swinging through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Chitter, 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 chitter. Oh, over there, a monkey. Is he following me? Really it might be fun to have a monkey follow you. Yeah. <laughs> Wading through the jungle. What do you see? Can you hear a noise? What could it be? Snap! Snap! Oh, oh, I'm kind of nervous to turn the page. Snap! Snap! Snap. Uh oh! I don't see anything. Do you what? see anything, Steph? Do you see anything? I don't. Could it be camouflaged? Oh, maybe. Uh oh! <gasps> Over there, a crocodile. <gasps> Is he following me? He was camouflaged. I hope he isn't hungry. Uh, the end. Oh, that was excellent use of your listening skills and your visual skills. Yeah. Actually. yeah I've got two of them in there. 
That was great. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, you guys are ready to fly like a butterfly? Let's see, let's drop it. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly through the sky. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly, stretch like a butterfly up so high. Twist like a butterfly, twist like a butterfly, twist like a butterfly, twist like a butter. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly, sleep like a butterfly through the night. Roll like a butterfly, roll like a butterfly, roll like a butterfly. Roll like a butter, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly, fly like a butterfly in the sky. Good job. Good job. Now it's everybody's favorite time. Show and tell. <laughs> All right, we have some really cool things to show you. Mm -hmm. I think this is the coolest. You want to show them you that first? Start with that? Yeah, I do. Okay, we have something that we use here at the library um, on very special occasions, and it's called a rain stick. Have you guys ever heard of a rain stick? It looks like this. It looks like a big log, mm -hmm. but it's actually got stuff in it. You can kind of hear it when I shake it. But the cool thing about a rain stick is, is when you angle it just the right way, listen. It sounds like rain, doesn't it? Let me go for the other way. Wow. That's very soothing. Isn't that the coolest? Yeah. We love our rain stick here at the library. Yeah, and you can just turn it over and over and over. And it can be raining really fast. Or just raining really slow, depending on how you, how much you lean it. But this is a rain stick. Um, we've had this forever. I don't even know where we ended up getting it from, but I'm sure you can find one if you Google it. But um, I love it. Very I, I do. Very I relaxing. kind of forget that we have it sometimes, and we we have it bring it out. I'm like, yay! <laughs> yeah. So that's a nice way. And it sounds like rain. I like it. Yeah. That's cool. So this is a great sound if you're sensitive to sounds, which a lot of people are, because it's very calming and relaxing. It's not too loud. Um, if you're not sensitive to sound, and sound is something that gets your attention and um, helps you stay focused. Um, there are some other things I'm sure you might have. We have some maracas here, which are a little louder and they also have some of that movement um, that we've talked about in the senses. So uh, you can get some of that going. And some bells, which are, can, you can do fast or slow, and you can be loud or soft. You also have a tambourine. Tambourines are nice because you can just shake them, or you can also do a sense of touch with a tambourine, mm. which is good. And then we have this really cool little instrument that you can um, make a fun sound with. It goes, you go back and forth. That's kind of nice too for people that may not like it very loud because you can do it really quietly. And it's also a tactile thing yeah. because you can feel, and I bet you can feel that tactileness when you rub it with it. You do. Yeah. And when you go, it kind of sounds like a frog. It does. A frog <laughs> croaking. <laughs> So if you happen to grow to be a sound effects expert, mm -hmm. here you there go. You go. <laughs> so, okay, 
Are we ready for our second book? Yes. So our second book is kind of a new book in the library in the last few years. It's a really fun book. It's called There Are No Bears in This Bakery. Ooh, I want to go delicious. to that bakery. I do too. There are no bears in the little bear bake. Oh. There are no bears in the little bear bakery. I'm whisk. Um, I, I'm sorry, I can't see it. I'm the whiskers of this neighborhood, and it flutters, scurries, or scampers. If it flutters, flurries, or scampers, I know about it. The name is Muffin, and this is my tale. There are no bears in this bakery. Each night the moon rises, the bread rises, and I rise. The air cools and the sounds get interesting. That's when the night shift begins. Scratch, scratch, squeak. It's the mouse behind the bakery. Clang, crash, crunch, crunch. It's the raccoons in the dumpster. Snip, snip, flap, flap, flap. It's the bats visiting the barber shop. I thought I knew all the night sounds until last night. Last night, after the sun rolled off the edge of the sky, a mysterious new sound rumbled over the windowsill. Grrr. I stepped out to investigate. The air was cool and wet like the dog's nose. The alley was empty, no mouse, no raccoon, not even a bat. The bakery's back window is open, like a crooked smile. Grrr. I slipped into the darkness and like icing melting down a hot cake. Inside, I listened for clues. Maybe it was a mouse. Mice love sprinkles. Grrr. And that's when I saw it. It was the biggest mouse I had ever seen. Grrr. Actually, it was the smallest bear I had ever seen. I was surprised. The bear was surprised. My tail was the most surprised. Grrr, rumbled the bear's belly. Up close, the bear smelled like old socks, cinnamon, and adventure. The problem was clear, and I was on the case. The rumbling grew softer and softer until burp. For a moment, everything was quiet, a little too quiet. Oh. I heard snuffling sounds behind me. I had a tail. I mean, my tail had a tail. I mean, there was someone in the darkness. The darkness had eyes. They were looking at me. My whiskers trembled. My paws shook. Grrr. It was an enormous bear. It smelled like a dumpster on a hot day. It rumbled harder than the vacuum cleaner. Suddenly it was lights out. Everything was dark and I couldn't move. I was smushed like a muffin between the couch cushions. I was in the middle of, of the giant bear. I was in the middle of a giant bear hug. It was warm like a bath mat in the sunshine. It smelled like that bath mat needed a bath. There was something, there was a low rumble from somewhere in the fur. Herp, herp. Oh, wait, that was me. It turns out big bears like sprinkles too. Light began to, light began to nibble at the edges of the window. It was, it was time for naps. Even my shadow was sleepy. I made, the, I made sure the bears got on their way safely. 
The sun rose and stretched like a yawn down the alley. The bears rivaled back to the forest. The night shift had ended. My job here was done. So that's it. Another case closed by Muffin. No bears in the little bear bakery. Well, not anymore. I took care of them. It was a messy job, but I handled it. Now it's time for a nap. By the way, um, we're out of donuts. The end. Looks like Bear and Muffin made a huge mess. Who ate all those donuts, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the bears. Probably. Yes. So that was a great book because it used a lot of, um, it did use a lot of little sounds, but also um, in some of the way that it described the events that were happening um, was really, um, um, I want to say, like they was using a lot of similes and stuff. Uh, yeah. So grr is the sound a bear makes, like grr. It's also the sound your tummy makes mm -hmm. when you're hungry. Yeah. And the purring of the cat purr. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cats make that sound when they're happy. Right? Yes. Yeah. Like um, okay, so we are going to do an activity. Hopefully you have some of these things at home. Did you fall off your wall? I know. Let's <laughs> fall off my desk. Um, <laughs> so you only need a few things. A really cheap paper plate or just any kind of paper plate. Um, a stapler. And a handful of dried beans. You can use any kind of beans. We're and using pintos today, yes. but it doesn't really matter. We are going to make our very own shaker. So if you don't have something like a maraca to keep time or rhythm at home, but you would like that, we are going to make one. So it's very simple. <laughs> you pop the plate. No, you um, take the plate and just fold it in half. Kind of like a taco. And you pour in some beans. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then you just staple all the way around your plate so the beans can't escape. Oops, this one and then you have your and noise maker. You could use markers to decorate it to make it fun, like our little finger. And if you shake it this way, it makes a different noise than when you take it that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a bean escape. So you have to be very careful and make sure that you staple all the way around really well so your beans don't fall out. <laughs> and so that's how to make your own noise maker. Then um, some of you might have some of these left over if you had um, Easter at your house, if the bunny came to see you. Um, we had these are little plastic Easter eggs that are empty inside. Usually you fill these with candy, but you can put a few beans in them, like, I don't know, just four or five, five or six beans. And then you want to close this up. You probably, if you have tape at home, it might be a good idea to tape it and you can make your own little shaky egg. So if you happen to watch our toddler time, we do a shake the egg song every week. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't watch toddler time, but you want to, you can make your own shake the egg at home. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. And then the other thing we wanted to talk about at the library, we have is, we have a collection of books that are called wordless picture books. Mm -hmm. And these are picture books that are in our easy section and they only have pictures. They have no words. So if you're sensitive to sound, or maybe you feel like hearing, a, a, you know, having a story, but not listening, or, or you don't wanna um, listen to the story, you wanna maybe make it up yourself, wordless picture books are a great way to do that. And also, if you are too young to know how to read, like maybe you haven't gone to school yet, um, these are a great way to read a story on your own without knowing how to read, because the only thing that you interpret are the pictures. So you can really kind of make the story your own. Mm -hmm. And um, we have so many of these. Me and Sophia only brought five out. But I think these are five that actually came out like in the last year or two. So 
We have so many of these books. If you're ever interested, you can just come and ask any of the staff at the desk um, for wordless picture book recommendations. Um, I really love this. It's called Another. It's by one of my favorite illustrators, Christian Robinson. And he is an illustrator for other children's picture books. Um, and this is his first book. So it makes sense that it's wordless. And um, it's really cool because you would never imagine this in an easy picture book, but the little girl actually goes into another dimension. And there are others of her and everyone else. So this is a really fun book. Mm -hmm. This one's one of my favorites, it's called Wave. And it's about a little girl on the beach playing with a wave. And you can, the, the thing that I love about it so much is that it seems really simple, but the expressions on her face, you can just tell the whole story based on what her face is doing. So I really, see, look at that face. You know exactly what she's doing there. She's splashing, having a good time. So um, you can totally check these books out and make up all the words, the stories, everything you'd like to them, which is fun. If you are learning to read, um, wordless picture books are a great way to kind of, um, we, you know, when you're learning to read, a lot of times um, there are pictures there to kind of help you interpret what's happening. Um, but this is a great way to kind of make up your own story. So if uh, learning to, to write also, is, these are a great way to help the literacy with it. To foster imagination. Yes. So, that is all for us today, mm -hmm. and we're going to sing our goodbye song. So, if you guys want to put your hand in oh, the air. Do oh, do you remind about this? Oh, yes, I forgot about that. This is our, oh, and our announcements. Yes. I forgot our announcements. So, we have the PDF every month. This will be linked down below this video. You can print this off and practice these auditory input uh, things at home. One thing that's really fun on here is to sit outside for five minutes and make a list of the sounds that you hear. So I did this yesterday. I sat outside of my house. It was a beautiful day, and I listened to all the sounds I heard, and at first I thought I would just hear birds chirping or, um, you know, just neighborhood sounds, but I, mowers. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, actually, I have a neighbor, one of my neighbors, he loves to do karaoke, so I heard him doing karaoke. <laughs> and then another one of my neighbors, um, he is learning to play the trumpet or tuba, I can't tell. But he, so I got to listen to him practice and so it was really full of sounds that I never imagined I would hear. It was really fun. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> How fun. Yeah. So, and if you are um, sensitive to hearing, you probably already know this, you're probably already doing this, but be sure to wear protective um, gear around your ears when you're out and about in case things do get too loud. Headphones. Mm -hmm. Anything to kind of keep your ears protected. It's just another great fashion accessory. That's right. <laughs> Get them in different colors. All right. And don't forget to participate in the Summer Learning Club. That's Continue right. to read 20 minutes a day for 20 days. And even if you haven't started, you have plenty of time. There, You have until August 1st. So you just have to read at least 20 minutes a day um, for 20 days to qualify to get your prize. Once you've done that, you can actually go to wileytexas.gov slash library to the Summer Learning Club page and you can print your own log if you want to keep track of it that way, but you can keep track of it any way you want, it doesn't matter. But once, you're, once you've completed 20 days, then you can go back to that site and you'll see a button that says submit a log and that's what you wanna do when you've completed it. And then you could welcome to come up to the library and get a free paperback book. Mm -hmm. So that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. And when you submit your log, you get to make a choice of which grand prize you'd like to win. We have three this year. We have a baby shark puppet with some board books. We have a whole dog man prize set with a big dog man doll, a little cat kid, and a how to draw a dog man book, and then um, an Amazon Kindle Fire. So those are all our grand prizes this year. Yeah. All right. All right. Are you guys ready for our goodbye song now? Yes. Let's do it. We're trying to rush us out of here. Not really. <laughs> All right, put your hand in the air. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.